Hello, I am Shelly Gao from Cisco Tech Cloud Security Team. In this video, I would like to show you a method of saving a copy of original email on Cisco Secure Email Gateway. Step 1. Open CLI. Step 2. Enter filters command in CLI and choose new option to create a message filter. Step 3. Create a message filter with Action Archive. The action takes a parameter that is the name of the log file in which to save the email. For more details on message filter settings, please refer to Using Message Filters to Enforce Email Policies chapter in the ESA User Guide. Please note that after a filter has been entered, you must manually enter the filter script. When you are finished typing, end the entry by typing a period on a line by itself. Step 4. After adding message filter, press Enter key to continue and save the configuration by using commit command. When the configuration is successfully saved, changes committed message is displayed in CRI. With this method, a copy of the original email will be saved as an unbox format file for eligible emails. The system automatically creates a log subscription with the specified file name when you create the filter. These unbox format files will be stored in this log subscription folder. After the filter and the filter log file are created, the filter log options can be edited with filters log config subcommand. To check the information of the saved email, you can use SCP or FTP service. SCP runs over TCP port 22 by default. You can access to GUI of the appliance, move to Network Interface page, and allow SSH or FTP access in the interface of the appliance for specific port required. Please note, this port must be allowed in the firewall to access the appliance. For SCP service, Please refer to SCP command to download the saved files. For FTP service, you can use Windows FTP service or FTP client like WinSCP, Velzilla, or any other FTP solution to get the file. Take Windows for example. Open File Explorer in Windows 11. Right click on this PC and choose Add a Network Location. Click Next. Select Choose a Custom Network Location. Then use FTP to connect to your ESA. After adding the location, input your ESA's username and type a name for this network location setting. When you complete the configuration, click Finish button. Now you can log into your ESA's log folder by using the username and password. Search for the log subscription name that is specified in step 3 when you create your message filter. Then you can find these files. The mbox format is in plain text, so after getting these files, you can use a simple text editor to view the contents of the messages. That is all. Thank you for watching this video.